We were drawn to Montana and I would say we fell in love with Montana first for its uh, landscape. It was all that variety of different locations that really it hit us hard when we got to Montana and like this is gorgeous and we need this in our game and that's exactly what we did. We brought all that variation into our biomes, into our vegetation and uh, into the world. It felt really like a wild space that we could own as a Far Cry game and we also looked at the animals that we could get there and we felt, felt like it was exactly a match for a Far Cry space. Everybody expects Far Cry 5 to be beautiful but on this project I think we really brought it to the next level in terms of quality and fidelity of what we saw in Montana, bringing it back to our world. When we set a game in Montana present day, in our own fictional Montana, uh, there are roads, there are houses, and it's interesting to see players starting to play the game and see that they stick to roads, for instance. Because it looks like home, you start to behave like if you were home, instead of crossing the wilderness. So it's interesting to see these new behavior that are related to that setting that's much closer to, uh, to where we live. So photogrammetry for us was a technique that we really had to use in order to get that extra details and realism in our assets. Um, so what photogrammetry is, is that you take pictures around a certain subject, uh, you go all around it, takes all the data of all the images and creates you a 3D object, which you can then take in your engine and transfer it into the game. So for us, it was, it was really changing the way we worked. Being in Montana, was, that was a perfect opportunity for us to do photogrammetry. We're already there taking pictures of the environment, of the scenery, of how things grow, and the results are gorgeous. It was a lot of research. We saw right away that fishing was like this really big thing, this cultural thing that people really love to do over there. Fly fishing was quite uh, present there, and we said we should absolutely try to instill that in the game. Even if it's not a priority, we should have it. It feels that it belongs to that space. And we did, didn't just want to do the little simple fishing. We, wanted, we went all out and we did like different types of lures, different types of fishing rods, different types of fish. So we really wanted to have a super deep uh, fishing system. We have somebody on our Toronto team who is a texture artist who comes from Montana. And he sent me an email two weeks ago saying, you guys nailed it. 